within every Monday, you know, preceding my traveling. So it's fine. I get it. It's all good, people. I'm glad to be back at our Blackout My People's. Got Marcel hanging out today. Uh, you know, backstage, work, work, recess monkey extraordinaire. And we also have fucking B, B Original Design, CEO, BlackoutMedia.net, hentai enthusiast, a popcorn tub fuckery. It's lovely. And oh, keep in mind, I'm not a monkey, I'm a cat. Yes, we, I, I call him a worker recess monkey, even though he is truly a Japanese kitty cat with a human sentient brain. Now, you know. if you don't think about it, I'm going to take a line from Adam at uh, pr uh, Who Does Project Blackout. If you don't think about it, it makes sense. <laughs> That's what it does. I just realized this, but every single week you mention me and popcorn, and I've never actually said this, but I've never had popcorn. No, you have said it before. You you are a non-popcorn eater as far as... Uh, you told me this, and I think... Uh, Oh, it was either on our blackout. Or it was. It was. It was either on our blackout or it was on an interview I did with you. It was one of the two. Where, I think it was on our blackout. Long time listeners will be able to tell. Okay, but I, I don't, I'm going to send you a bag of popcorn coming soon. A what? Oh God! No, no, no! Don't send me popcorn because I'm allergic. That's why. Oh, so you're allergic to it? You can't even mess with the corn. Are you allergic to all corn? Because it's corn. No, no, I'm not allergic to corn, but I'm allergic to popcorn. I can't remember what happened. It was. It was. It was a bad time. So. It, it was a bad time. Jesus Christ! I can imagine I your first it. going to a movie theater. I could, I could see how terrible that would be. I could just see B just it. not know a young, a young B, a young long-haired B with, 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 uh, I guess, spiffy. My hair's short now. Oh, I know it's short now. I thought it looked very dapper. I saw, I sent you that pic. I saw you that little tweet on Twitter. I was like, oh, he looks very dapper. He looks, he looks, he looks very handsome, very gentleman's quarterly. Oh, so you got the little. Oh. Douchebag oh, wait. tips I, all I just got a shit. message from Shikai. He might be coming in. Oh, Shik if Shikai comes on, that's awesome, man. We'd love to have him on. We're just kind of shooting the shit right now. I mean, I have no clue what's been going on in Blackout. I have no clue what's been going on in Freedom. So, I mean, I'm kind of along for the ride just as much as everybody else as far as listeners go right now. You know, shout out to everybody in the chat right now showing up and uh, showing love and shit. But, Shit guy says he will come in, so go ahead and add him. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, uh, yeah. go on with the, what's going on with Freedom and Blackout, and I'll be loading uh, fucking Kanto to the call. All right. So as far as what's going on with Blackout, Marcel, you need to send me over that ticket so I can actually read it and answer the question, because I'm going to answer it on the show. Yeah, answer so it. Phil watches the show. I um, actually send, I already assigned it to you. I think we should do stuff like I didn't that. Get like an email answer, about that. answer support me stuff. Like answer support stuff that we think is necessary to talk about. I think we yeah. could do that on the show. I think that's a segment. Uh, yeah. Like I would think it's a good idea because you I, know I if we're getting support idea. questions, not why not not only you know respond to the ticket of course because that's essential, but um, of course talk about it on the show. And I think something I might add in the future because Freedom did it and people liked it is I might add Twitter support. I would I would recommend I would recommend it at a, at a at a time when we're able to handle it. You know what I mean? Like right now we're kind of we're kind of a little short staffed. If you you kind of get my meaning, I mean we all pull double duty. Marcel, you pull triple duty. Marcel pulls triple, triple duty. Um, more like octa. Yeah, yeah. I'm about to say like sectuplet, octoplet duties. You have like eight hats on. You're running around chain smoking cigarettes with six arms, like in the Men in Black movie. Like when he when uh, Will Smith pulls open, like he's in the mail room, and he pulls open like the little place where he's throwing the envelopes in, and it's this guy smoking marble reds, this alien, just like throwing letters like a maniac. And I, I I see Marcel doing that, like one hand's wanking, the other hand's smoking a cigarette, the other one's rolling a blunt, one's typing on a computer, one's moving a mouse, one's flipping off somebody outside. It is just all sorts of chaos in Marcel's world. That's what I see. Basically. Yeah. Okay. Basically. So we got we got shit guy in finally. That, that is done. What's up? What are you doing, you fucking savage? How you doing, baby? Doing all right, doing good. How's your vacation? Uh, it was it was not a vacation. It was a obli obligation of travel. But obligation to travel. I had it was one of those. It's it's like it's like when you go to a funeral. You don't want to go, but you had to go. Right. You know, it was. Now let's not get it wrong. Like all <laughs> of my family members, no, none of us died. No apple member of my apple cores has died, so no, that's apple good. became an apple pie. Oh, don't don't talk about my cousin, all right? Don't cut, talk about my cousin, all right? It's not my fault he was baked into a delicious pie, okay? It's bad enough. It's bad enough that you why fucking do, humans eat us, and you juice my, us, and you I touch like, our pulp 
No, Marcel! I will not stand for this abomination against this. It's not our goodness. fault that you sell them for too damn cheap, too, man. I you know, it's horrible. It's short, two for a dollar, bro. It's you horrible. can't blame can't blame Why do I feel like Yes, I can. You got you guys you guys are making us expendable. <laughs> Grapes are expendable. They're wonderful in smoothies. Not apples. Leave yeah, us alone. Don't. Use a pear. They look similar. I no, all jokes, <laughs> all jokes aside. All jokes aside. By the way, um, thanks to you, Yo. I feel like apple strudel. You get the fuck out of here, seriously. <laughs> I actually have two lying in the freezer right behind me. Oh, that's jacked up. That's jacked up. Like all, all I see is like one of my cousins like shivering in this dark freezer going, I thought you were going to help us. You were our voice. <laughs> I can't remember what it's called, but there was this one time I had something from Costco that was like bread with apples and it tasted really good. Apple bread? Maybe that's what it was called. <laughs> Apple bread? I don't know. Maybe. It was it was really good though. Let me find you a picture of apples to it all. Oh, for fuck's sake, don't know apple strudel. That All I think about here, apple strudel, is I hear apple hard on. That's all I think about. Like, th I think about it, Apple's going to come out with the apple strudel, and it's going to be like a long, elongated iPhone. It's going to look like a dildo. It's going to vibrate. Watch. Watch them do it, and watch them make fucking money. They're already scamming people off these fucking Apple iWatches. I mean, how much of a douchebag do you want to look? You remember when people walked around with Bluetooth? Kanto, do you remember when Bluetooth became a thing? You're an older guy. Yeah. Okay, you yeah, remember yeah, when yeah. people... You know, uh, I grew up in a time before Bluetooth, and I saw the introduction of them. And for the longest time, when people were walking on Bluetooth, and like you c and you couldn't see them, on yeah. like say they was facing the side where their ear was, everybody it was, was a going crazy. Everybody yeah! was talking to themselves. <laughs> everybody was talking to themselves, and everybody was crazy. And you'd have the like this weird little thing would happen that was only for around for a couple of years before people started going this. Uh, you know, they started putting in cars and all these other impl imp uh, implements. It was, you would be in an elevator, and I remember this from when I was younger, I'd be in an elevator, and I had like part of a conversation with somebody, then about halfway through, I realized that I think both of us thought we were wearing Bluetooths, and I wasn't wearing one. <laughs> so I was talking to the guy, not realizing he was on his Bluetooth, and then I see it, I see the blue light blinking off the metal reflection of the elevator, I just stopped talking, I just went, oh, I'm a fucking idiot. <laughs> uh, I'm a fucking moron. I actually Yo. had the Bluetooth on my laptop in class, turn yeah. on music, let it stream to Bluetooth, and I had the Bluetooth Ooh. earbuds to watch the window. I don't know why I got that by teacher and told me to put the thing out of my ear. <laughs> oh my god, Marcel. You are a maniac. You know, I gotta say this about Marcel. Like, I've known Marcel for, I think, it's almost as long as I've known B. So it's been a little over a year now, right? About. Yeah, it's been about over a year, and I gotta be honest, man. I okay. I don't know if anybody uh, picked up on the Apple, Apple Apple Core calls. I know for those who did, who are listening, who are part of my audience, I appreciate it. Thank you. There is a big reason why I did not include Marcel or B. There is a legitimate reason because I don't. Okay, B talks about levels of doneness very often on this show and how he incorporates his scale from one to well twelve. It it seemed to have climbed to a point. Yeah, we went past ten. I got it over twelve. I think. Yeah, like Marcel is the one who pushed him over the edge. He went. Past 10, right to 12. Next thing you know, he's going to be at 20 because Marcel's going to uh. send him a Japanese, like, artificially sentient fuckbot. Someone got me to 13. No, no. You went, he went Sereno on us. He went 13. Oh, God. <laughs> Wait, Anybody uh, from Cali will laugh. Grim. Yes. Some, somebody got me over uh, 9,000, to be honest. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That's terrible. What is going on with the. Why are you guys, like,. I, I get terrified of Skynet all day. Like, I got a video come, posting up probably tomorrow about it on how I'm afraid of Skynet from the Apple Core calls, but I don't think I get the levels of doneness like you guys do. Well, I mean, the, the levels of doneness of me are just like, you know, when you're so fucking done with something that you just cannot stand it anymore. Right. Like, see, the thing that got me to 13, I was playing Star Wars, and me and Shika were in a call, and this level 60 just started ganking me while I was trying to level. I'm like, really? Does well, this have to cool. happen right now? And yeah, you, you, yes, it, it does have to happen right now because that's the way it really? is. And uh, you know what? Before we get on anything else, I just actually wanted to bring up a question with everybody. And I figure it would actually inspire a little bit of interesting discussion. Now, we're, uh, we're all gamers here to a degree, right? We all play video games. We all like them. B, I know you say you don't know a lot about games. That's not what I'm getting at. I'm, I'm just uh, alluding to that we all, we all enjoy them for what they are, right? 
Except for you. you, you don't really enjoy games anymore. Well, that's not true. That that's <laughs> partially true. <laughs> that's partially true. Like, I want to say partially. What? <laughs> so, yeah, I want to say partially. Yeah, partially. I mean, I partially enjoy games now, and it's it's not the games that I have the biggest problem with anymore. Even it's it's more it's more the industry itself. It's more the way the behind the scenes politicking works, and who gets the deals, who gets, you know, companies like. Uh, uh, Shitting on GameStop as being there, the reason that you know new games aren't getting bought yet. In the very same month, they'll go on and do this whole pre-order bonus, exclusive GameStop deal. You know, there's all sorts of reasons why I'm, I'm kind of fed up with the industry. But as far as games go, I like Payday too. I play video games. I played I played Sunset Overdrive, and I like that. Does that count? I know that game's bad, but I like it. Does it count? By the way, look chat. What? What am I looking at? Skynet I... Security. Oh, for Hi, fuck's Rome. sake, go away. Eating Skynet nice, Security. Juicy apple. Go fuck yourself, <laughs> Skynet Security, you piece of shit. Uh, what I what I can't, what I wanted to ask you guys though was like when remember when the term gamer in general now I'm just getting to the point here. Remember the term gamer in general just used to be somebody who just liked playing video games and that was it and it was right. that simple and now we have you know, I pro think, gamers and yeah, and all that shit. And now it's like, okay, how how good's your 360 no scope? I said, bitch, I'll waste you a Pac Man. Let's go. Th th that's the point I'm you trying know? to make. It's it's very true. It's now there's uh, it almost seems like the gaming, the, being a gamer, got asterisk upon asterisk, just like consoles did. Remember when consoles used to be plug in and play? It's kind of like, oh, okay, plug in and play, and then that's all you did. Now you have to sign in. Now you have which signing in's fine, but. Now we have codes, and now we have the updates. Now we have to wait for all this shit. It's kind of like how gamers are now, too. Oh, you're a gamer, but are you a casual gamer? Are you a pro gamer? Are you MLG? Or do you just play for fun? There's so many different genres, and I think it gets confused a lot. I think people worry more about the subcategory of gamers rather than the overall of what gaming really is. That's true. I actually agree with that. Wow. I'm Almost about to seriously right now slap Microsoft in the face because <laughs> once again I have to activate my email. Wait, why? What would they do now? It's this Office 365 crap that uh, Marcel kindly gets from his school, but he kindly uh, gets. I love it. He kindly gets from his school. Oh, that is brilliant. Except um, the software is, as JJ would call, AIDS. Uh, <laughs> it's not. He calls, he calls the software AIDS! <laughs> the, uh, the worst part is, is it, it's actually very true. This software is just, like, it's made me reactivate it like five times in the past three days. That's crazy. Wait, let me try to sign in as I might think they changed the details. That's jacked up though, man. I just, I can't, I can't do it. I'm sorry. You know, I'm, I'm sorry, but J, JJ, you get a fucking attaboy for calling that shit AIDS. I'm like, oh my yep. god. Uh, what uh, a great descriptive word. Time for new details. Let me find it. Okay. Uh, any, anyway, now uh, I guess while Marcel looks for that, I can answer this question we have from a partner. And yeah, he says, hey guys, as my channel grows with Black Hat Media, I'm looking ahead towards possible revenue opportunities. Naturally, I think of sponsorships. How do you connect your partners with these kind of opportunities? Okay, question. so uh, legit, good question. Legit question. Really good question. Who who is staticky right now, Ron? Did your mic break? No, my my mic's fine. I'm not dead. I mean, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not hosting it. As, I'm hosting the call, not the stream. So. Okay, someone's staticky, but whatever. We're gonna ignore it. Yep. Uh, anyway, onto the question. Basically, as far as connecting you with these opportunities. The most we can do is advise you how to go about it, in a sense. Now, obviously, there are some that we provide, and there's some that we're going to be providing from sponsors that sponsor our partners, uh, such as we're working on Wacom, uh, we're working on some hosting companies. Of course, we host ourselves if you're, you know, making enough to get that. But, um, yeah, basically, as, as far as that goes, if you're interested in something we provide contact us and we can work that out if you uh, meet the requirements to do so then good to go you're good uh, if you want something that we don't provide or that we aren't uh, associated with and you would like help about how to reach out for something like that uh, that's something we can help you with 
Well, I, I look at it like this. It's one of those things where guys, pe blackout partners and new partners, current partners, existing, etc. If you guys, uh, this is good to do. So guys, if you guys have questions, please do use the support system so we really do know. I mean, in all honesty, we're, we're, we're a very tight-knit community as far as, as far as all things considered. And the best way to really get a hold of us is honestly just shoot us an email. That's that's one of those deals. We just we we prefer to do it that way in a way because we can see it, we can address it. Like that's something we were talking about just earlier today. Uh, creator ease, no, you didn't really uh, lose out on too much. It was a lot of fucking bullshitting, uh, a lot of crazy shit. I was talking about uh, my Apple brethren being abused by humans. So I don't I don't think you missed too much blackout related news. We're actually getting to that right now. Yeah, we're 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 pretty much in the news. We're answering questions. Yeah, we're so. answering questions right uh, now. But it's it's all good. Yeah, way, but uh, I mean, it's good. I mean, just drop us the questions. You can't expect us to know what you want by fucking osmosis. I mean, that's just the main point I'm trying to bring across here. So you know, we yeah. we want to offer you everything we can. You know, and you know, we have a few things right now. I mean, we got Channel Meter coming up recently. That's been interesting. Like, I actually like Channel Meter. I don't. I, I actually find it actually it's actually helpful, and fuck you, Skynet Security, being in the chat right now, being fucking goofy, goofy net over there, being silly. It's working. He's scaring the shit out of me. I'm all like, be being uh, content. You guys can't see it right now, but I'm kind of like fidgeting in in my office chair right now. Like it's actually making me a little nervous. Like I know it's just a joke, and but it's freaking me out. You know, one of these days, I, I need to actually rig a Terminator to no, a skeleton and no, get you don't. Anton to motion capture that shit. No, that's the last thing you need. Well, actually, you know what? You need to do that if you can get a, Scott, a Terminator chasing after an apple. And I'll just do my voice going, ah! I know no! Anton can do it. I know he can too. He's fucking good. Oh, he, he's do I think he's under the name Dingo Designs now. It's a badass name. Yeah. Like, I would and go through you if your name was Dingo Designs. Like, what's your, what, what's your company name, Dingo Designs? Oh, dude. Dingo design, fucking sold, mate. State of your company name, I love it. All right, I'll I'm gonna, actually. I'm gonna put some cash aside and I'm gonna have him do that. Oh, do it up, man. Wow, All right, uh, Creator Ease actually has a question. He's saying, "How's Blackout doing on the move?" I expect not a big difference. I'm assuming <laughs> you're referring to the move from Equal Media Television to Insidious. And uh, B, you probably have the most information on it right now, considering I am I just got back. So I don't, I don't have, I, I don't have my footing yet. So I mean, go for it, man. Talk yeah. about uh, what's going on. Okay, yeah, that's, he confirmed. That's what he wanted to ask. Yep. Uh, as far as that's going, I mean, short answer, good. Long answer, uh, you know, we got out for certain reasons. It was uh, not exactly the best place to be at that time, and uh, so we got out of it. And Watch now we're with Insidious, and quite honestly. Uh, I've never been better as far as my stress levels go because I don't okay this is going to sound somewhat screwed up and this could be misinterpreted but I don't essentially have someone breathing down my neck and not saying that EMTV was annoying or anything like that but uh, Reese is definitely a lot more chilled back and kind of lets me do my thing without necessarily trying to push me in one direction or another and that's kind of how I like it I kind of like to you know do my thing because my thing essentially works and like there, there are some things Equal Media TV does or did that I did not agree with and that's just uh, business though I mean we're yeah. always going to have little compromises and things we do along in the business world that's just that's part of how it works when you do partnerships but anyways go ahead yeah uh, so in, in short, you know, there there were some things going on there that we didn't like or agree with, <laughs> and uh, we we made the decision to get out of there, and uh, no regrets. I mean, things have been really, really nice. They're going smoothly, and in, in a sense, it's actually kind of beneficial because, you know, of course, Sam was great, but uh, for those of you who don't know, Reese actually works with uh, Freedom Support, so... Now instead of going to Sam and then having Sam go to Mikahan and then having Mikahan likely go to support to figure something out, now I can just go straight to support or straight to Mikahan. I'm right back. Thirty seconds. Things are so much faster. So much faster. It's ridiculous how uh, easily I can get things done now and how uh, 
quick it is to get information for partners. Like, um, for example, Phil asked me, he's like, oh, can you give 70% rev share I have over this amount of views? I'm like, yeah, that's something we can do because you know you have this view requirement. If you lower your views, we're not going to worry about it. Freedom might, but we won't. And uh, I can get answers about whether or not I can do things, how I can go about them, or uh, anything related to freedom. I can get it pretty fast now. And All right, uh, I'm back. It's, it's uh, real quickly beneficial. to interject. Real quickly to interject. I just saw in the chat room. True motherfucking editor, Josh, you bare ass showing Skype motherfucker. How you okay. doing, you savage? That reminded me. <laughs> I, I now have to talk about this because people, some people got pissed off about it, but. What? What did uh, they get pissed off about? Yes, yeah, some people got pissed off because they watched Hour of Blackout and they thought True Editor was the first girl on the show. And then when he wasn't, people were just <laughs> caught hurt. And I know, I know several people were confused, like really confused. Oh, oh, I, I, I heard, I heard around on the, on the, uh, what do you call it, on the, the grapevine of the internets. Yeah, it, it, he confused a lot of people. He yeah. confused a shitload of people. But that is an, is just a testament to how good that his his voice uh, acting is. That's yeah, is really he, what it is. Good, good news though. Good news. We should, and I say should because obviously there is no confirmation yet, but it's pretty much a confirmation. We should have Rowan next week. Ooh, that'd be interesting. That will be the first girl on the show, officially. It, it is actually a girl this time. <laughs> yeah, I, I like how you have to, not, now you have to clarify because you've bullshitted people times in the past now. This is great that we have to tell people this. Good lord. Oh my god, a girl's going to join the show. I'm so going to watch. <laughs> yeah, I know. Actually, the thing is, though, I think people would watch because if we, if we got Rowan... I got a lot of questions for her as far as her uh, be, uh, being a woman in, in a male-dominated industry. Seriously, I do. It, it, it's a legit question to ask a girl who I think is, is a really intelligent chick. Rose's not dumb. Rose's smart, man. She's got a good head on her shoulders. She's probably going to have good, good uh, what do you call it? She's probably going to have a, a, a good speaking voice, good understanding, and um, good opinions. I'm just, I, I'm, I'm all for it, really. Oh, for fuck's sake, True uh, Editor says, you don't invite me to this stream anymore. It's like, what the, it's, well, eh, fuck it. True, Josh, the fuck you want us to do? Just Jesus. It, I can drop him in right now if you want. You know, I, mean, I, I don't I don't really care. It's, it's <laughs> completely fine, but you know, it's true, I don't understand why you're so butthurt about that. I hope you're ribbing me. I hope you're ribbing me. It's one of those it's one of those deals. Oh, he wants to be in the call. I mean, I, I, I don't got a problem with it, man. True's a black card partner, so he meets the only qualification required to be in. <laughs> we have one qualification. You got to be a black op partner. And for anybody who goes, oh, what about the other people you brought in? It's like, oh, that's because they were like, you know, Freedom PR or just yeah. people were interviewing or for whatever the reason. The only exception we make is Freedom Staff, which, you know. It, well, I, let's, let's be real. Point, it's mostly Can. It's just because it's just yeah. Can likes dropping in. Well, Khan's also a partner, so go figure. Yes, he is a partner, but Let's it's just for... drop everybody in blackout in this call right now. Oh, for fuck's everybody sake. Shares everybody shares it. Everybody shares it. That's a really bad idea. This is a really good promotion is what it is. Everybody will share it on their Facebook, on Twitter, on their Instagram. Oh, no, he's got a point. You're absolutely right. Oh, my, for fuck's sake, <laughs> true. <laughs> true. Calm your fucking uh, tits, buddy. I'm adding you. I'm just, I'm getting shit done, buddy. To answer Creator Ease's question, because... It's kind of a valid question. Yeah. As far as the Hitbox MCN goes. Oh, I just saw that. Yeah. How is um, that going? Marcel has talked to Anthony about it because basically what That's happened is. Wait, Drew's in here now? Yeah, I just yeah. dropped him in the call. True, uh, I that need you to noise, mute that background noise you got going on, buddy. I love, I, lo I love you wanting to drop by. Just don't, you know, fill us with like Fall Out Boy songs or something. I'm sorry, babe. Oh God! Yeah. Don't don't yeah. poison me with that nonsense. <laughs> it's like three seconds. He's already like, I'm sorry, baby. Oh, for fuck's sake! State of it. Anyways, okay. Hitbox, go back to it. Be yeah. Hitbox MCN. Uh, okay, so Hitbox MCN. Basically, the story with that is we started off by talking to Hitbox, and then Hitbox said, "Oh, you're with Freedom. You need to get Anthony's approval." So oh, okay. Marcel went and got Anthony's approval like actual approval to go out and pretty much do whatever the hell we want with it and now we're at the point where uh, we talk to Hitbox about it and we're just kind of waiting on them to acknowledge it <clears throat> fucking slow so we're just, yeah. we're just at a we're legitimately now at just a waiting point and that's all we can do I, I think what'll happen is we're probably gonna have to send in another ticket 
to Hitbox and be like, uh, you know, can, I'm can you look at this? I'm actually going to ask Anthony if he can send in a message to Hitbox. Yeah, go for it. Yeah, go An for it. Anthony it's will get it in. It's possible. Uh, you know, he'll, he'll throw it in there. He'll do his best to get it done. But oh, I yeah, mean... for those of you that asked, Hitbox will happen eventually, and uh, we're... I don't know what the rev share is gonna be, but I'm thinking we're gonna do a 90-10 because why the hell not? A 90-10? Can we afford to do that? I just thought about it like oh on my hitbox. God, are we yeah. Be able to pay for stuff. Well, because we don't have to put any money into the hitbox. It's just kind of there as an opportunity for partners. Is it, it so? Wait, how does um? So the hitbox money, if we can adjust the share that that they get, uh. What does that do to affect us? Like, it is, is it, it so it doesn't affect us? That comes out of freedom, right? Uh, if we run the hitbox, I'm seeing like, see, right now the revenue share on hitbox is controlled by freedom for the right. partners. But uh, if we run it and we bring them in over to hitbox on our side, it's controlled by us. And all right, all, the only thing we're responsible to do in that point is to just send out payments. Oh, okay. So Freedom is still handling the payroll. We would just be deciding on the revenue share we'd be giving our partners and handling payment. Yeah. Also, I don't I know if I just wanted to uh, get it clear. I'm sure everybody in the chat was probably confused too. They were wondering about it as well, I bet. I don't know if Marcel talked to Andy about it, but we might end up uh, making a deal with Andy who has a Hitbox MCN. Actually, Andy already approved that, so. Oh, Andy approved it? Okay, well, then we might be doing that. Oh, so what's this about? Oh, so it's B's approval. Well, well since you're probably going to approve it anyway, like, what's what's this about, man? I've been gone for a week, so I have no Andy, idea what's been going on. The owner of Optimize. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. You know him? He used to be Zeus Media. Uh, yeah. I've talked with him about uh, maybe... Fucking Zeus, where's he been? He made a new network and has his own Oh, for MCN. fuck's sake. Oh, for fuck's sake. I, I lost touch with Zeus a while ago, and I always, I always kind of regretted it, you know? It's cool, you cool people to talk to. Uh, Skype after this. Yeah, man, just, yeah, sh shoot me his info. I I'd love to stop on by and scream, you fucking animal, Adam! But yeah, basically, we, uh, I'm making a deal with him that we, like, share the hitbox network. So we get okay. every person that gets added by us, we'll get, like, a certain percentage of it. Oh, that'll be interesting. What did he say? It was like 50%? Was it 50? I think about maybe that. I will have to it was either 50 or 80. I can't remember what you told me. But, uh, well, yeah, be approves. Talk... Okay, I'll have to talk again with him. Yes, yes, be approves. I got, a, um... I got a question with you guys. I got a challenge I want to give to all you guys. I want somebody from Blackout. I don't, I don't care if it's fucking Kanto, if it's Josh, if it's B, if it's Marcel, if it's me, I, I want some some of us to play these uh, games for sponsorship reviews. The freedom sponsorship? Yeah, because here's my thing. I don't think I don't think many people are doing them. I will. Do I really don't. I might do one of them tomorrow and stream it to the hitbox. Uh, yeah, I was thinking um, we could do we could do like live live uh, reviews of this shit as, as we're playing it, we're all watching it or whatever. We could just kind of give wait. live commentary how we feel about. It. I think it'd be kind of fun. Considering I was it say, has to do there's freedom. a thing too. Like, what's up? I didn't even know about them. Really? Like, I went on the dashboard the other day and I noticed like we had all these different sponsorship games on on the freedom dashboard. Really? But I never got any kind of like notifications saying that hey, these are sponsorship games. Try them out. You know what I mean? So there was a few like speedrunners. Speedrunners was one of the games that I actually wanted to play. I was thinking about buying it like two weeks ago. What I'm game? gonna find out. What game? Speedrunners? What game? The fuck speedrunners? Is, is it speedrunners you like know? is it speedrunners like uh let's say if I were to play Resident Evil Six, I do a speedrun and live stream it, is that what you're talking about? Or is that legit? No, it's work? like it's like you know, it's like the indie games like Lethal League and stuff. That oh, we're playing right now. okay. I thought you meant like a speed run, like world record type shit. No, I no, thought no. he was speed gonna runners. do speed and then like run, yeah. legit like run like a five k. He's gonna like you know get all hopped up in amphetamines, like walk around all gacked out. Like ah! I was actually legitimately starting to wonder if True is uh, not high right now because that that answer was. <laughs> <I'm not sure laughs> up. No, no, no. Put expired dates on them. 
I, I was gonna ask, is there legit a Wait, list? Expired game? dates. What do you mean expired dates? Yeah, there's yeah, a legit list of games. games. All the games. Yeah, 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 yeah. The, the games are expired right now. I was just, I was just wanting to at some point in time. I think we should all kind of just sit around and plan it, and you um, know, maybe fuck around with some of the things. Maybe we could just do uh, it on a ne next week and hour blackout. That's what I'm thinking. Can it be any game, or because you did you just say the games expired or something? Yeah, yeah but it's it's more. I, I kind of wanted to direct it with the freedom ones. Mainly due to the fact that I don't think they get no, they get a lot of play. They don't. And it's, it's not even it's not even for freedom's sake. It's 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 for the those devs' sake, really. It's more like, you. dude, a lot let of people from freedom watch thing. our show. I think they would at least watch us play games that are on freedom, so they could actually just kind of get a first hand look without having to download it themselves or have to do the review code. Wait, yeah. better question: How many multiplayer games are on there? No. Uh, not many. I don't Where? think. Let me tell you one thing about one of the games that. Nerd got sent when he was in the, what was the GAN, uh, Idol? Idol. He... Yeah, Freedom Idol. Yeah. Huh, Freedom Idol. I remember who that. Who that? Who that? Who that? Who that? Who that? Freedom who that? Idol is the program that I'm in that I technically took Nerd Spot. I do think. you, do you, do we still, ha do we know what's going on with that yet? I am very confused. My video's on there. Yeah, but like, can you, but, can you give us a little more, like, yeah. de like, what's the business? Uh, basically, what goes on there is that every day of the week, a affiliate uploads, the and <laughs> and then they get what out of that? that uh, that's pretty much the public side of it. Is that you know there's uploads there from an affiliate every week, and then from our side, it's you know we collaborate together, we get feedback, uh, mentoring, basically how to do things better, all that. So it, oh. it's a it's a good experience. Uh, question, question. Is anybody here into MMOs? Um, he is. Obviously me and Shekai, because, you know, Besides Star Wars, besides Star Wars, what oh, okay. about, what hold, about hold, the fall? Have you guys heard about the hold, open Hold your game? ass up right now. If we're going to talk about Joe. MMOs. I like how well done. I like how he's Hold Joe. Hold Joe. Yo. <laughs> Not hold your <laughs> ass. Hold Joe ass. Hold oh, my ass God. Up. That's amazing. Yeah, hold your ass up, okay? Hold Joe so, ass. So, if, if oh, we're going to talk about MMOs. God, no! I just heard it. Oh my god! What a crackhead! I love him. He's great. <laughs> Since we are, you know, on the topic of MMOs, sure. Uh, as as far as me, every MMO that I played, I've played DC Universe. I played World of Warcraft. I've played Star Wars, obviously. I've played uh, Final Fantasy. I've played Terra. Uh, let's see. Can I think of anything else? else? What are you What are you trying to get at, uh, True? What's the reason for the question, my man? Cabal two. Play Cabal. Beta just opened, and again, I'm not really an MMO type person. I tried Star Wars, I tried Final Fantasy, I tried Terra, but the reason I didn't really, you know, continue playing is because all you the balls. <laughs> How did it taste when it was in your mouth? But anyway, uh, no, no, no. Oh, uh, but, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and where's the drum line when we need it? Thank you! Oh, there we go! I have no chill. But anyway, um, it's just that I get bored playing it alone. Like, an MMO yep. is not fun when you're alone. I used to play a lot of MMOs, but mostly those anime-style ones of, like, area games and those things. Yeah, Wait, I mean... I, I there's just don't MM feel like that more. MMO-style what? mmo uh, that are more like anime style. Oh, yeah, okay. we're like that. Fantasy yeah, like Star. Beautiful. Like right. Bladed Soul. Even Eternal. Hell, even Cabal, to be honest. I you know, I wish they would bring Fantasy Star to North America, but they never did. Word, I don't it's know like, why. I still have the first one on Dreamcast. Fantasy like, Star. Uh, Mar Marcel, read chat. Bitch, where? Uh, uh, shit, where were we? Yeah, uh, Shikai, what was that game that uh, you played with uh, Josh recently? The two v two. Oh, the two v the two v two is Rise of Incarnates. Is that free? Yeah, yes. it's free to play. Free to yes. play. Uh, how many gigs? Uh, I don't know. I know it's it's not a lot. Okay, well, uh, well, I'm gonna good. download that. I'm gonna download that. We're gonna play it. You should. And uh, it's kind of like if you don't work with your partner or you don't have mic communication, don't even bother getting that game. 
Like, okay, well, uh, I'm on Chick Eye's side. <laughs> you sure about that? <laughs> I mean, well, I, mean I don't. You know, the more I hear you guys talk about him. this game, the more I don't want to play it for fear Why? that I'm just gonna get trolled on by you guys. You're not gonna get trolled. You're just. That's gonna... a lie. I have played Grand Theft Auto with you. You fucking liar. Oh, you, speaking you... of the photo. <laughs> speaking of that game, a new update came out today. Oh, for fuck's uh, sake! I gotta download an update now for that. No, no, it's really, thing? it's really fuck. It's 500. Wait, how much is it, Kalen? 500 megs. Yeah. Five, yeah, I'm gonna it's, download it. They probably There's, updated with hidden, not even noting if they're noticing fucking it. Fucking four new vehicles, a um, bunch of shit ton of new clothes, uh, one new pistol called the Marksman pistol, and uh, a bunch of new customizations. Yeah, new new uh, horns and everything, new customizations. Pretty horns? dope. Okay, horns. Coming, coming from people, like seriously, coming from guys who uh, have played so much fucking GTA Five. what keeps bringing you back? It can't be the game. Oh, wow. DLC, DLC. DLC is what brings you. DLC, back. the community, it's it's it's. What kind of community? Little... There's what no community. community. There is no there is no community. <laughs> we talk about trash. About we kill each other. I have fun. It's a but blast. We're, we're not community. We're friends. He's talking about people that you're not your friends that you meet online. That's I think that's what you meant. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey yeah. I went swimming okay, with four friends so this morning that, and I put them all up. C four. Star Wars: The Old Republic. We're on there. Me and Shekka have been playing that shit like no lifers. And I, 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 I kind of sound like a hypocrite. I kind of sound like a hypocrite. Hold on! The sniper! Thank you, I'm done. <laughs> I kind of sound like a hypocrite when I say MMOs are boring where you're playing, where you're not playing without friends, but I would play Star Wars, but I just never liked Star Wars growing up because you know, nobody's ever interested me in it. I see Marcel's over there face like, testing. You like the little pew pew no, pew pew not. pew pew. Like, yeah, because I was all I was all about that Dragon Ball Z anime. Nobody ever introduced. I am your dealer. Yeah. F Dragon Ball. A lot of anime takes its inspiration from Star Wars. You think so? I think so. Why do you think? No, no, no. He doesn't think so. He knows so. Oh, he knows so. Okay. Well, why do you know so? Cocky ass motherfucker. I like how he's putting fucking words in my mouth. I just said I think so multiple yeah. times. Rewind yeah. the stream. Play it back. I'm telling you, man. Fucking back the DeLorean up like 30 seconds. You'll totally hear true. Just trying to talk for Kanto. It's brilliant. He has his hand in his ass. He's a ventriloquist dummy. Fuck that's, it. That's, that's what little brothers do. Get out of my ass. Hey, hey, hey. Get, no. get out of my ass, little brother. Holy like shit. Something you never want to say at the dinner table. I like your ass. It feels yummy. Stop talking like a faggot. Nobody wants to hear it. Yeah. Oh, I don't know what just, just happened. Went too far. I, I, you just that, went was, too far. that was jacked up. That's jacked up. <laughs> just saying. Really fucked up. That's, this, is, this is why live is great in the sense of you wanna know why you wanna know why that's okay? Because we intended it that way. Right. If, and we if, just intended two of our other people to stop watching the stream. I'm sorry. How exactly. About? <laughs> uh, we're sorry. We're sorry if you didn't like it. It's just how true is. He's a fucking weirdo. And we love him for it. He's unapologetic. Just what does that right. mean? No stop using big words. Exactly. You don't stop even using, know what it means. Stop using big words. Go to school. I'm not afraid of Santa Claus. Oh, Jesus. We didn't even get onto Santa Claus. Fuck sake. I, I love how creator is all like that's the question he has to ask over five gigabytes fuck it <laughs> yeah that's right. true that's a very true question about UB you are very quick to just go nope not not installing it I'm, I'm fine in, in all seriousness right now and I'm pretty sure people know this but on my hard drive that I play my games on for Windows and everything like that I have 14.5 gigabytes left yeah Wow. You're screwed. That's what I think. Yeah. I think you're fucked. I think, it's, it's, I think it's time GTA, to spend a bucks and go get GTA is going to put me back to like 13.9. And then the and update. Then, yeah, then the Star Wars DLC is going to put me down to like, what, 11? <laughs> oh my god, do you have Space Engineers? No, what is I can't that? install it. Why does everybody keep telling me to buy that? What is that? Because that people like... Fun. People like ridiculous shit, okay? It there, sounds there is, ridiculous. Space Engineers is Minecraft in fucking space with more options. What the fuck? That, no, that's oh, what okay. it is. And you can't, and, and people don't give me your no. bullshit. I don't want to get any fucking stupid little goofy emails about my comparison to Space Engineers and fucking Minecraft. I don't you care. You can't make a vehicle in Minecraft. You can make Sony Minecraft games. Yes, you can make vehicles in Minecraft. You just need to mod it. And you can do anything in Minecraft. You just need to mod it. That's all it is. So I'm saying you can't do it in Minecraft is not true. Line. That's it. Yeah. Story I mean, what? There was fun. Oh man, yeah, Telltale, Telltale wants to make that story storyline off of Minecraft, and I'm thinking to myself, 
What the fuck could you possibly do for that? Wait, what? Minecraft? What's the, what? They have, yeah. you know, Telltale Games. Tell I mean, fucking Ed and, and the... What is Jurassic it, the... Park, Salmon Max, which is the lesser yeah. known stuff that I oh, care is about. Is it just me or is the audio lagged to death? It, it it's it might be a little bit of both. Don't worry if if it's that bad. When I look when I read back on it and I listen back to the show, I got it recorded. It's in the can. It's all good. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Ever since we've had problems with Hitbox, and it's not Hitbox's fault. I, I yeah. you know that real quick. It was I'd like to hit my. It was most of the time probably. It's because Marcel likes to see. It's, it's because my Marcel fault. like like uh, seeds pornography and hentai when we're trying to stream a show. That's exactly no, what I'll he's doing. My anime, especially for this. See, ah, see, he he'll pause his anime, but his hentai addiction. He's it been goes watching on. Too Love Rue. Oh, what is that? Oh, uh, wait, uh, you guys told me about that one. That's that fucked up one that I shouldn't watch because yep. it would damage my mind. Wait, no, you should watch it. Wait, what's it called? Too Love Rue. Uh, actually, uh, uh, anime, Two which you can agree. Aaron, you can't agree with this. We have to suggest Boku no Piku to Rum. Nope. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> it'll give, I'm going to say this right now. It'll give you the fastest hard on. Well, well not in my case, because I don't get turned on by anime, but you probably would. I, why do you, why is that like the first immediate, you know, in, in like thing you ensue about me? What is why do you insinuate like about me? <laughs> you have to keep away from that horrible creation. Nope. It's the... <laughs> Rum, oh. chat, and dirty chat. Just Second. the way Josh is talking, it's obvious no. troll. You don't want to watch this. It's not a troll. Marcel, do not put that in chat. <laughs> what? What do you, why, why do I feel like if I click on something, I will heavily, heavily regret my life? In many, many more ways than I, I already do. Linked anything yet? I don't know what they're talking about. It, okay, just because you didn't link it doesn't mean I Marcel won't link it or somebody. Oh, see, see, Marcel. Fuck's sake, Marcel. What is this? I don't want to watch that. Oh. Why would you do that to me? Just describe okay. to me what this shit is. No, I died. Oh. <laughs> what was that? What are you playing? Fuck Cabal Two oh. Beta. We should play that. That should be a sexy ass stream. But no. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna download that. Me neither. Oh my God. Look oh at it. Oh my. Not liking it. Oh, um, it's an anime style type. Yeah, but I don't like it. Oh. <laughs> that contradiction, though. I don't Final like. Final Fantasy is better. Yep. What Final Fantasy is, is better, but I don't want to pay fifteen dollars a month. Final Fantasy. Uh, Final Fantasy. It's, 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 it's not worth your ass. Hey, hey. Final Fantasy XIV Grim Reborn Closed Beta Tester and Got Collection Edition. What? I got the Collection Edition of uh, Grim Reborn and I was Closed Beta Tester. What? That's oh, quick because of his up. job. I'm so confused. I've never heard of Final Fantasy XIV. What is that? It's a realm. Re it's the MMO of Final Fantasy, you idiot. Why did you just just say, when you're Why can't before, you just say realm being reborn? a bad nerd? I, I love how B got so angry at him, just like, oh, it's the fucking MMO version of Final Fantasy. I'm Quit B. being a bad nerd. Like, B. oh, how dare you? <laughs> how dare you know? How dare you not know I everything by sheer osmosis about gaming? He did. Like, he said he got the collector's edition of it. And there you go. A, There's a, a close beta edition? tester. There's a collector's edition for everything. Everything, bro. And he, that's a oh. crazy thing, too. It, now, don't get me Destiny. wrong. Final Fantasy does warrant collector's editions depending on which game they put out. Because Final Fantasy been around for a long time, man. It ain't going anywhere. No. It's not. It's, not. it's been a staple for the JRPG. Huh? Oh. Felicia is here to stay. Would, would, would anyone like to talk about the horrible collector's edition that is Destiny? Oh, for fuck's sake. You know what? I'm going to let other people go on this before I even try to let chime in. Let me first in. Google it. <laughs> I'm with Rump. Fuck Destiny. We played it for like maybe a day and it stopped. I'm like, this is the same old shit. Okay. It doesn't matter which freaking mission you do. I'm killing the exact same damn enemies that are re-rendered as a different fucking character. You know, and then you got all this shit, the people that pre-ordered and whatnot. Hasn't it been like since launch that... There hasn't been one free DLC that they were promised to the collector's edition people or people that pre-order. Yeah. On, on top of the fact that, uh, you know, you know, people who were legit with the fucking game, you know, day one people, people who bought exclusive editions and collector's editions and spent all this money putting all this care and give a fuck into this game. 
and then we and then you know with the with the recent Red Bull promotion and how that really a- a- offended a lot of people and rightfully that so offended me people exploited it of course people exploited it that that was that happened with with Doritos and Mountain Dew too with Call of Duty and Halo it's not that it's yeah. the, the my problem isn't the fact that it's happening okay it, it, that is a problem that it happens but that's the that's the direction that it's going to head in anyway my biggest problem with it is that it's a big middle finger to everybody who spent a lot of money on the game in the beginning right. and was promised a lot and we got very little. It's kind of a similar case with Rockstar and Grand Theft Auto V. But Rockstar has alleviated a lot of those concerns in many situations and have, get, have given people more of a reason to return and come back. Except for that fucked up DLC shit that they tried to pull where they made all the pilots gay. Like, I don't know why they went that route. Did anybody see that trailer? No. Did, go, look on, go look on <laughs> YouTube. We're talking about Destiny right now? Well, no, we're talking about. I was, I was talking about Destiny. I was just comparing it to uh, GTA oh. Five, and in a couple different things. You See, mean, this is what happens when you don't listen. No, no, no. <laughs> I, it says your voice is so hypnotizing that I just stand there and just. <laughs> <laughs> so I could just, I could just be sometimes. talking the truth. Like, uh... Do I really fucking hypnotize people? Yeah, like sometimes that when I, I play, I'm like when I'm playing this game, I thought I was listening to a YouTube video or a radio. Uh, you're now song. listening to 94.5 The Buzz. You're not listening 94.5 The Buzz. Hentai addiction enthusiast r- 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 radio. Somebody turn off this radio. Right. I know, show. right? Just turn this <laughs> son of a bitch off. Oh, God. No, Destiny is embarrassing right now. And I feel bad for everybody who spent all that fucking money on it. And by the way, Creator Ease, I just saw the comment he put in the, fu- in the chat. He said, I bought Titanfall for one buck in a store today. <laughs> That's about Wait, what it's what? worth. <laughs> That's about what it's worth. He Thanks, bought Jada. Titanfall for a fucking dollar. And I'll tell you this much, uh, creator, you spent too much money on it. <laughs> hey, Jada. Gift me it. I, want... I actually like Titanfall. It's oh, like wow. me. I got, it has I got no campaign. campaign. I don't fucking what care about, about that. What campaign of... Oh, if I could kill people... And you go online. I've been playing Skyrim lately. Well, Skyrim, Skyrim is, is one of those games you that you know I don't mind that that game with the problems that it has. That game is functional, it's playable. I don't get bored after an hour, and that's that's a big thing. Because how many games have all of us played in like the last like three years that we play an hour? That, and we're fucking Zetoverse. Zetoverse. There we go. I mean, you know, GTA Four. I mean, five. Wow. GTA 4 was a game I I, I love GTA 4. Yeah. It is it was it was the best multiplayer you it. could you could ask for as far as um GTA yeah, multiplayer mods. goes. Even that though all you could do is just free roam, all you could do with GTA 5, I mean 4 was free roam, that was pretty fucking good. You could do missions too, but you know Yeah, I mean? but I was I was talking to I I was I mean, I talked to my boy Cobra about this all the fucking time. Like Cobra and I, for people who don't know Cobra, uh go over to Cobra TV or or go over to cobratv.gnn. I'm on a podcast that he does, the GNN podcast. And uh, wow, that was a cheap plug. Didn't even mean to do that. But no, I was talking wow. to Cobra about G. Right? <laughs> I was talking to Cobra about GTA 4 and GTA 5 and how we had like differences of opinion on certain things. And we both came to the understanding that now, now Cobra is a multiplayer head, full in, full through. He doesn't give a fuck about the single player most of the time, and a lot of times he doesn't care about storyline. Okay, he's a multiplayer guy, enthusiast, full on, full. So it's interesting to have a conversation with a guy like that when I'm more of a. I, I like single player. I've always been more interested in the stories and the why, the reasoning behind why we're doing the stuff that we're doing. You know, Ludinaire, uh, uh, to dissidents and et cetera and, all, and the like. It yeah. just really, I just which, find that GTA Which brings 4- that back. Yeah, which that brings that back to Destiny. Uh, Destiny does. really had, uh, I, Aaron, in the beginning of the game, they mentioned something about the moon or why they're fighting. They never explained who did it and why they did it, the enemy. It, it, no, it's like the, they when the uh, the the mission cinematic where they go back to the speaker and he's like, I could tell you like so many times. Yeah, like, yeah. It, he's just like, I could tell you, I could tell you, I could tell what you, I but I won't. Right? <laughs> what, a what a dick. That's so yeah. terrible. No, hey, I guys, still play Destiny. What brings people back to that game? I mean, it can't be my the friends. DLC. It, I play it with friends. It's so expensive though, like. It's it's more expensive. Like the DLC is more expensive than the game. To be honest, I think we've already seen it. Like you posted something on your Twitter, and I posted it on my Facebook and stuff too. Remember that guy that passed away recently, and they like the community. 
oh, oh yeah. yeah sending yeah, a bunch yeah, yeah. of clips I, and whatnot I, you know like i think that's what people keep coming back to you know the community their friends and stuff that do their raids and whatnot and the shooting's on point that's one thing I'll oh the shooting's fine i i have no yeah. problem with that whatsoever the it's game the is content. functional yeah the content is just the only bad thing about that game but otherwise than that if they had more massive content especially about the, you know as much money as they created and used on this fucking game like no i i wonder but I, I wonder why the D-pad was not used for useful things like a health recharge or some things, just anything but a fucking dance emote. And that's that's yeah. one thing that bugged me. It's like people are caring that much about these fucking dance emotes. Hey, they do uh, have useless. <laughs> she guy. <laughs> Remember the video I made? The, the Instagram video we posted? Yeah, I yeah. made like a little vine of us dancing to this fucking like song and i was doing the robot and she kind of was a human shit what was it, what was it? the the uh smoke it was han solo uh, han solo han, yeah. yeah han solo uh smoke weed every day yeah Next i don't episode? by the way I, I do not promote smoking weed it's bad for you here it goes wait for it wait for it smoke all the pine cones you want i will smoke all the cones <laughs> Damn it, I, was waiting for rub. I was waiting for rub to argue with me <laughs> no smoke weed. i'm not gonna why would i argue the one thing I will not argue with people about is weed, unless they're trying to tell me that, like, oh, we, weed kills people, it's worse than alcohol. Then I always give the great answer of, have you ever heard of a guy smoking two fucking fat joints, driving home, listening to some Jimi Hendrix, going home and beating his wife? No, you never hear about that. You know what potheads do? First of all, they're going to drive safer because potheads get paranoid when we drive behind the wheel. It's just what happens, <laughs> okay? We stop, at, we stop at stop signs and wait for them to turn green. That's how careful we are. That's exactly how careful we are. Two, okay, potheads get, we, we go from high, happy, hungry, sleepy, sleep. That's it. That's all it is. Unless we, we, they we, didn't be, have weed Feeding for somebody all up is like the last thing on any, look at a stoner. Does he, he or she look like they have any inclination whatsoever that they are going to hurt you? They, if they every single one of them looks like me. They're all chink-eyed. They're all fucking chink out and going, oh, yeah, man, I remember this time I got fucked up, bro. And they're, they're harmless. Stoners are not going to hurt you. Now, the drug dealers will hurt you. There's what you got to watch out for. Drug dealers? The drug dealers. The drug dealers. Yeah, I was, uh, I was just talking to somebody about um, they wanted to work in uh, video game retails. <laughs> And I'm thinking to myself, as much as I love this person's enthusiasm, I always think to myself, is it is it bad to say you probably shouldn't work at a GameStop if you want to continue to care about video games? Because that'll drain the life out of you. I've wor I worked for a Babbage's and an EB Games before, in my area, before uh, GameStop took it over. Funko Land. Oh, <laughs> Funko Land! <laughs> Funko Land! <laughs> Most shops will give you this for your games. This yeah. is what we think. And then it goes, doo -doo -doo -doo, and it's a hand coming out of a window full of money in their TV commercials. So, I went, oh, this is amazing. Oh, I, fucking... worked the, I worked at the transition during Funko Land and GameStop. Oh, stuff, wow. So. How was that? What was that, that like, man? I loved it, dude. This was during the time, like, when... What year was that? Because I wasn't in the that transition. Was the P when the PS2 first came out. Or maybe maybe less than a year when GTA, uh, when Grand Theft Auto 3 first came out. Yeah. Like, I remember when we went to E3 that year because when you work at, like, GameStop and when you work at Funko Land or whatever, all these all these gaming places, you actually get to go to E3 for free. And since I lived in California, we sent our business cards in and faxed them over, and we got free passes to E3 for the three days. For fuck's sake. On and we went that, up there, dude. $1,000 for a three-day floor pass. Jesus, you yeah, got yeah, yeah. a lot, man. Yeah, dude. And um, when we went up there, we played all these new games that were coming out for PS2 and, and – uh, and GameCube and Xbox back then, and one times. of them was GTA 3. Oh, oh hold yeah. on, you're telling me if I go work at GameStop that I can go to E3 for free? Yeah, oh. but they're not going to pay for your travel to get no, out there, they, they, but they you'll have access. your floor pass, but you have yeah. to pay and cover your own travel expenses, hotel costs, and, and, and food. Yeah, I'm exactly, in California, exactly. I don't give a damn. <laughs> but yeah, that's, that's true. B. I'll take a measure down there, there. shit. B. Is that a possibility that I can go and live with you during vacation and work at GameStop? Uh, no. Shit. I, I have a question. We got, we, got a, we got a little time left. We're like 53 minutes in. I just wanted to ask you guys a quick question. 
uh, cause I'm gonna bring it up on my show next, uh, either Friday or this Monday on the Roman Apple show, or maybe on Across the Pond on Friday with Roshu, cause everybody know everybody here knows Roshu knows that he and I hardly agree on anything. So it's always a good argument, but uh, or debate. So the Liz, remember last Christmas when the Lizard Squad hacker shut down PSN and Xbox yeah. and all that shit? Yeah, dude. Yeah. Was- last Christmas, it happened recently. Well, it was it did it did happen. Christmas. Yeah, I'm talking when about Christmas when they did the big amounts of damage when it was about over fifty thousand charges worth of of crimes related uh, to the computer. Did I remind you of Black Friday? Uh, it did remind me of Black Friday a little bit, but in the virtual sense. I don't know. It happened on Black Friday. Oh, too. I thought you were saying it's like Black Friday. I'm like, no, but like, I was like, they, yeah, kind that of. That was down yeah. for a couple of days. This it was, was down for like a week. Now, uh, something that was that was very interesting that I found from this article. Now, the hacker team, uh, who actually did did it, did the uh, hacking and DDoSing and all that stuff, which I think they're kind of confusing the two because t- hacking and DDoSing are two completely separate things. That's just the one thing I want to explain. They, they are they are very separate things. There's a very anybody big difference. Anybody can DDoS. You know, can anybody can DDoS if you have Julia. the right program and tools yep. for it. Hacking is a totally no, different medium. Time. It involves understanding coding. It involves understanding how uh, you know the computer, the interface works. You know, down to the basic you know language of it. It's hard to do. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah. yeah, but um, the guy who pled guilty, and I'm not going to reveal his name. Don't need to. Don't need to give him any credit because he doesn't deserve it. All right, who, who fucking cares, right? Watch, they're going to kill me now. <laughs> okay. Hey, hey, 50, hey, hey, over fifty thousand charges. Oh my god. Over fifty thousand so charges related to computer crimes, and mind you. He got a suspended sentence. He does not going to jail for this. What? Why? I don't know. That's just what they decided. They're not sending him to jail. You're going to come putting, work for us. They gave him a two-year <laughs> suspended sentence and ordered him to fight against cybercrime, meaning he'll avoid jail. Now, here's what I'm thinking. Okay, if he was a hacker, then that's that. Then the, the deal makes sense. Now, sure, granted, I feel that I don't know the kid personally or whatever, but it's still, you probably should have seen jail time for that. You really should have. Just, if anything, as an example to the severity of how they'll punish cybercrime. But if he's a hacker and he gives them two years suspended and he's got to help them fight cybercrime to, like, find people and get rid of them or whatever, that's fine. But if he's a DDoS guy, what the fuck could he offer? Exactly. There's my question. What can I he can offer? offer you have any ideas? DDoS protection. <laughs> I can DDoS the motherfucker that's DDoSing you for free ninety nine. <laughs> I bet you anything that motherfucker's not behind a VPN. We'll I see. I, I, I <laughs> wish. I so wish that they could actually find people that DDoS, but they don't got no money. What? What you talking about, Willis? Like all those people that DDoS, I wish they could get like find whatever the company's costs were to fix it. No, they are, obviously, you can find them. You can put a judgment on them. But are you going to collect? Probably not. They're broke I, as shit. Might they be? I just yeah, got information from a headbox work. Somebody that works in headbox. If we want to create our MCN now, we need to get in total a hundred concurrent viewers. That's oh, a lot of bullshit. Sake, no, that's no, that's Rum for the our dumb. team. From the, the team. dumb. What a jackass. That was so fucked up, creator. I love you for that. For in the, uh, for our team page needs to get 100 concurrent viewers. Grounding points for the name. Absolutely, uh, right? Fucking hold, Attaboy. Hold Attaboy's getting set out left and right. I threw an Attaboy to JJ earlier today, and now I'm throwing one to creator. Anyway, I'm smoking. I don't know if you heard the lighter. Oh, I heard it. Trust me. That Trust hitbox me, requirement is garbage. What, what was the requirement? Say it again. Our team page needs to get 100 concurrent viewers. What? One vote to concurrent viewers? I'm 100 sorry. concurrent viewers. Ah. So, so basically we need to have 100 viewers every time we stream? Yeah, bullshit. No, not every- Black uh, not a hub channel, but the team page. So someone has to get 100 views. Oh, we need to get all partners in. And just do it like that. Yeah, see, if you ask me, that's bullshit, because you already know that Freedom did not have 100 views when they started. They didn't. No one watches their hitbox. Well, you know what? Maybe it's because no. Maybe if they put me on their hitbox, they'd watch it. Would you watch me on the fucking Freedom hitbox? Dead serious. 
Uh, yeah. that depends. Are you getting money from it? Well, I fucking better. Do you think I'm? Do I do anything if I'm not getting money out of it? No. no. You can put me yes. on Hitbox. Hey, Con hey, Kanto and, and True would do a great thing on Hitbox. Promo. Now, granted, they would probably shut down Hitbox after what those two do. Wait, editor has a Hitbox. I have a hitbox. I've been using it for a while, but then I stopped because barely people watch me. Only you, Aaron, and well, you and Aaron, you, Shikai, and a few other people. That's it. I think it's just hard just getting the viewers in general. Like, how many, how, how many does Black have? We have like 400 members, right? We yeah, have we're a little over 400 now. Yeah, we're a little over 400. We're growing slowly but surely. I'm happy to see it too, considering it's healthy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> It's a nice we, number. We, we've been growing a lot more since we left EMTV. I think we had a 12 increase. Actually, that's no. good. We had a 11 increase, which yeah, that's is better good. than the six we had before we left. Well, I mean, it's, we're not, we're not, it's we're, not we're not putting anything on on and maybe it's also EMTV. the new just, pads designed by me. Yeah, I true. think I think it's Marcel a lot of different. I, I think it's just a lot of different things that culminated in growth. Real, honestly, it's just a bit of everything, don't you think? Yeah. Uh, have good. you seen the new chat? Have I seen the new chat? No. I was saying to you. No, no, no. The, the new thread. Oh, okay. I'll check it out. Before. But uh, all right, everybody. We have actually we're about to we're about to run out of time. So everybody, drop your links in, buddy. Uh, Kanto, then True, then we'll go off the rest of them. KK. Okay, okay. word, 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 word. Express okay. yourself. Tell us where to get a hold of you. Where's my oh, links? Oh, and you see, every time he says that, drop your links. How about you say, vocally drop your links? Vocally drop your fucking cunting links. All right, here we go. Here we go. Go. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> go to youtube.com slash you editor. I'm going to come at your girl like a predator. Then we got Sheik Kai Kato at Play KK. YouTube.com. Go to him. A, A, A. Subscribe. Yeah, the year that he's like, hey, hey, hey. And he just stops. He just goes, subscribe. Bah! Ah, Mike drop, Lee, unplug the electricity, walk out the building with a fucking, like, with a little fucking uh, just bag of crisps. That's that shameless amazing. plug. Shameless <laughs> plugs, man. All day, babe. Cheap Pops 101, right? That's how you do it. Yeah. All right, right. though. Everybody, uh, have, have a good one. It has been our Blackout. Uh, oh, yeah. If you want to get a hold of us, everything, blackoutmedia.net. We have a Minecraft server. Guess what it's called? Blackoutmedia.net. We have a team speak. Guess what it's called? Unless I'm mistaken, it's called blackoutmedia.net. <laughs> so why don't we use freaking team? I don't get it. I don't get it either. Why I don't we use team speak? We we uh we did at one point. It didn't go well. It's yeah, so I, clear. I was never in it. Maybe we'll have to do it again. We'll do it again. Yes. You know, maybe next week we'll try it again. But anyways, uh, to get a hold of us, everybody, go to blackoutmedia.net. I am Rum and Apples, as per usual. Get on the Twitter. Go to the go to Twitter. Just you know, go over there right now. Click follow on everything is rum. Then say a bunch of horrible shit to me, and I'll know it was you, and I'll give you a nice little smiley face and a heart. <laughs> go to my YouTube channel and click that little subscribe button. You know that little red button with the white text that everybody who does a cat video tells people to do. Yeah, just go subscribe over there. Just go click on there a couple times, and then go share it out, and then go subscribe to Blackout. And but don't kill hookers because that's rude. I'll see you next time, everybody. Later. Peace. Peace.